and welcome to you in this tutorial I'm Ismail. In this video we will explain how we can create a displacement map and a realistic glass material. This tutorial is made by 3ds Max 2020 using V-Ray Next and Photoshop CC. First we will explain a displacement map. Displacement mapping is a technique for adding geometric details to surfaces at render time. In contrast with bump mapping, which works by just changing the surface normal to create the illusion of surface detail. Displacement mapping modifies the surface itself. Here an example of the same object rendered with a pump map and with a displacement map. Notice the round outline of the sphere and its shadow in the case of bump and the deformed outline produced by the displacement. To create a displacement map, we will use Photoshop and I use Photoshop CC 2020. In the first, the image size is 1900 by 4200 and resolution 150 pixel per inch. Also, we need to create these guidelines. Then change foreground color to white and change background color to gray. After that create ellipse, then change the fill to gradient and shape to radial. Make sure to convert the ellipse to rasterize layer. Then change the width to 17% and use guidelines to move it to the right place. Also, to create a copy, press Ctrl and J. Now follow my steps to create all shapes and make sure use guideline to have the same result. After that, merge these layers together and change the opacity to 75% and change this one to 75% Now, to make it look across each other, delete these parts Ok, now to add more details, create a rectangle and rotate it 45 degree to look diamond shape. And to create a copy, press Alt and drag. Then merge the layers together to make it easier to have more copies. And make sure to array it to look like this. After that, delete all extra one and create a copy. Then flip it vertically and merge it with the old one also and change the opacity to 60% That's it, now you have a displacement map The second part is to create a glass model First of all, create a cylinder with radius 0.035 and height 0.12 After that, convert it to editable bully Now from selection, select the upper surface, then press Insert and change the value to 0.002. After that, extrude the surface and change the value to minus 0.11. Then select these edges and use a loop to help you select all edges in the same path. And from Edit, choose Chamfer. That will help us to make it more smoothness. Now, to see through the object, from right click, Objective Properties, check see-through and select these two lines then from Edit, choose Chamfer and change the value to 0.005 and 5 After that, select the upper part and change the scale in X and Y axis to 130% And from Modify, choose Turbo Smooth. 
Now this is the environment and light setting. I use HDRI map as a main source of light without any exposure. Before we start, this is the test render settings. We have two methods to create this effect, and this is the first one. Open the material editor, then choose V-Ray material, and add the displacement map as a diffuse map, and make sure uncheck use real world unit. Then change tiling to 5. And make sure show material on the object to check the map. After that from modify choose UVW map and change the mapping to cylindrical. Then uncheck real world map size and change height to 18. After that from modify choose edit poly to select interior faces. Use a grow from selection to help you select all interior faces. And select these faces also. Then from modify choose your VW map and change all values to zero. This is will make the interior faces clear without texture. As you see, the map now applying on the outside only. Now, hit the render to see the result. Okay, it's look good. After that, back to the material and change the diffuse to black. And change the reflection to white. Then change the Fresnel IOR to 1.8. Also change the refraction to white and change IOR to 1.65 and to make it look more realistic change the fog color to gray and change the fog multiplier to 0.1 and make sure the PRDF plane and from options change cutoff to 0.005 after that to make the reflection look more realistic Add the gradient map to glossiness and make sure uncheck use real world unit and change color one to white and the others to black. Also change color two position to 0.1. This will shift the color down and change the glossiness to 10. By using that it will make the upper part of a glass reflect more than the bottom. After we finish, let's see how it will look. Okay, it's look good. Now, added the displacement map to material and it changed the value to 20. And let's see the effect. As you see, it's look perfect. Now, this is the second method to create this effect. From the modifier, choose V-Ray displacement mode. And make sure to change all values to this. After that, open the material editor and copy the displacement map to text map. And make sure copy it as an instance. Now hit the render button to see the result. As you see, we have a problem here. To fix it, back to interior faces UVW map and change length, width and height to 1. Then convert the object to editable poly. After that from modifier, choose unwrap UVW. Ok, now open UV editor and the red selection area, it's the same the interior faces, move it to up. After that, change background to displacement map. Then make sure the interior faces in the black area to have a clear interior faces. Ok, now from modifier choose V-Ray displacement mode again and copy the displacement map like we did before. 
perfect now let's see the result okay perfect it's look good and finally this is the final render settings thanks for watching and hope this video is useful for you if you like this video please hit the like button and share the video also don't forget subscribe to my channel if you are not see you soon